Hello everyone! Another video and I'm continue to work on my wing ribs for my RV10 build. Well, as you can see, well, two cuts on my fingers. That means what? That means we work with ribs. Oh well, have lots of ribs to process and um, the main showstopper for me now is the flatten tool. The tool which let you basically to straighten the ribs. I ordered mine already from the aircraft spruce but because of the covid things moving slowly canada post is extremely slow so i have to wait not sure if i can use some other tool in the meantime but for now i'm just getting other things prepared for the wing ribs i mean for the for the ribs installation and to the um, wing spars well getting everything removed out of the blue plastic everything marked with a sharpie about the name of particular part and so on so i have lots of work to do let's continue let's watch and um, by the time I'm gonna be doing something I'll be I'll try to comment So far so good, everything moves slowly but surely. <clears throat> However, I met some showstopper. And the showstopper is that vans, according to their manual, requires flute and straighten all ribs. It's uh, number one in 14, page 14 two. So what that meant is ribs, all those ribs are actually pre-made by I guess stamping of the aluminum so basically there is like a aluminum sheet and they just stamp it out of it and due to the process how it happens the ribs are not really 
trade so they have some curvature also the ribs flanges are not 90 degrees to the rib uh, surface so those two things has to be fixed so first we have to ensure that our ribs actually are 90 degrees to 90 degrees at, at this angle this curvature is 90 degrees so the flange and the main rib is 90 degrees that is fixable i found already how most of builders uh, fight with that so either old method by using a special pliers you just slowly bend it or something more more interesting like there is a tool that's not a problem i will build that but the second issue is that even after i will put it 90 degrees i may still have some curvature for that i need a fluting tool so it's the tool is simple it's like basically a pliers but i cannot buy it locally i cannot buy it at home depot or at canadian tire or at any other store so i had to order it and that's going to be a delay for me uh, well that's that's what for now i'm going to be actually doing i'm going to be waiting for the tool while waiting for that i will prepare all the surfaces i will make them made also i was able to um, actually prepare some of the ribs already do some assembly despite well i, I will have to anyway to disassemble that after and uh, straighten the ribs uh, but for now at least i already did some work so to save some time but that's for now my showstopper i'm not sure how long will it take me to get the tool i'm gonna continue to work on my uh, parts for my wings and um, i will make a comments along the way so by making such a simple tool i was able to solve one of my two problems my first problem which i was talking about is the 90 degrees angle of my flanges on my uh, wing ribs so it's a very simple tool it was shown on the forums so i didn't invent anything new and you basically just put it in as you can see this is a 11 degrees angle here so it's basically not the straight but some degrees angle same angle here on the handle i did it very simple so i didn't do it like some fancy maybe i will make it better but for now it's totally enough so we just basically put a flange in uh, put a rib inside of this flange and just push it like that and we just move like that through all 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 rib slowly 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 and it's very actually interesting but magically our angle here is now 90 degrees so well that's that's pretty cool actually I, I really like this invention and it works so my first issue is solved and this tool actually lets you to finish one rib within i don't know maybe a minute or so or even faster like 50 seconds one minute per rib so well it's quite quite effective tool
thanks God this time, Canada Post did a good, great job. So thank you, Canada Post. I got my package from the Aircraft Spruce, finally, and I got it actually two days before scheduled delivery date. So I'm really happy with that. Now, I got two tools to continue to work on my wing grips. The first tool is, well, basically this tool is for the straightening, like 90 degrees angle straightening. But what I want to say, I already did that. As you could just see in the video, I did another tool which is more convenient to use, faster, easier. I don't know, well, but anyway, I have this tool, so I will use it whenever needed. This is more interesting tool. That's my fluton tool. The one I will be using for the straightening of my ribs and well it's again quite simple too if you just take a look how this thing looks like so that's basically the wise grip and that wise grip they just welded in here as you can see uh, like the steel cylinders or metal cylinders uh, one on top and two on the bottom and that's basically it. that's a whole tool how it looks like and uh, how it feels like so you basically just put your aluminum rip part here and just well, I'll show you anyway it in, in a minute so that's my second tool so now I have two more two of the tools which I was need for to continue to work and now I'm moving on my ribs in the meantime I had a chance to build the cradles like the crates or beds or whatever for the letting add edge of the wings and for the fuel tanks so basically that's a simple job i just cut the wood but you will see that in the later videos and yeah also i have prepared the rear spar for the wings already i prepared but haven't much drilled yet i prepare the hangs for the um, for the flaps and for the ailerons as well well so i'm not staying in the same place i'm continuing to work and now let's watch how i'm gonna fight with this tool and with my ribs so we place it flat on the surface of the um, table and now what we do is actually we look where we have something uh, like the rib non-straight. Let's say here I can see it's all not straight. Okay, let's start with something kind of simple. So I already pre-adjusted it. So we just basically go bottom two long ones goes inside. The, uh, the single one goes outside on top. One. And we respect like about two inches distance so between the second pair of holes okay now let's see oh it's way better way better let's add a little more let's see again. okay it's almost almost great perfect yeah it looks very straight to me very very straight so I can see the the first and the last holes and they're on the same line so that's the whole idea how this tool actually works that's all that's it
Now it's that time when I have to prime. Yeah, right. Well, everything is there, everything is ready for priming and I'm starting up. Probably this time I'm not gonna show you the whole priming process from inside. Oh, you have seen it already, right? And also I'm just worried about my camera because last time after I did that, I had lots of primer on my camera, so I don't really want to risk my camera again. Anyway, it's gonna be a standard process and uh, as you can see, those are all my unprimed yet parts. I'm starting and you will see the end result. Let's go. All right, part one is now completed. That's a part one. This is the end of this uh, part of assembly of the wings of my RV-10 airplane. So far all wing ribs and all parts were prepared, everything has been covered with the primer and finally I was able to, uh, to prepare the holes for the pitot tubes and for the um, wiring. And basically here is uh, quite simple. Uh, for this hole, which I enlarged first, was for the pitot, uh, for the pita piping, for the pita plumbing. I decided to make it a little bit bigger, and the reason for that is because I'm planning to install also the angle of attack. So I will need two separate hoses, two separate pipes. One will be for the airspeed, another will be at 60 degrees to it for the uh, angle of attack. So I just enlarge it a little bit and install it um, like bigger insert here. So two hoses should pass perfectly. And the second hole which I made here, the one which will go through all wings, the other hole for pito will be only in the left wing and only for the first 10 ribs. While this hole, the bigger one, is for the plastic hose for plastic pipe, it's going to be long pipe, it's a half inch external and internal is almost half inch, it's very light, super light plastic pipe. I was uh, investigating about PVC pipe but finally I came with this very light and robust plastic pipe. I bought this ho uh, hose at the local Home Depot and that should work for all my electrical wiring. So all electrical wiring for all wing, including the heating of the pito, including the uh, servos and lights will go through this pipe. So far that's it, that's all. I'm done for uh, this part and next part I will start actual riveting of my wing ribs. Uh, I will start to riveting of my uh, wing spars and slowly slowly assembling everything together so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing have a good one bye